Pinocchio lets you install and control any AI engine with one click. No more pip install. No more conde install. No more git clone. All you need is one click. Furthermore, Pinocchio itself is an autonomous virtual computer that can automatically control and coordinate all its AI brains to do anything and even evolve like a living organism. Essentially, it's an operating system for creating digital life forms. Here's how it works. Download and run the Pinocchio app. First, it will install all the frequently used programs, such as Python, pip, git, node.js, cmake, and so on. No need to open a terminal and enter commands. Everything works inside the app just with clicks. Now let's get started by installing Llama CPP. Go to the Discover page and find Llama. Click the Download button to download. Then click Install to go to the Install script and press Run. As you can see, the entire workflow that you would normally have to run in a command line environment is automatically being run behind the scenes, and all I had to do was kick off the workflow with one click. OK, the build is finished. We have the program now, but need some actual model to run the program with. Select one download script and click Run. Now we are ready to play. Go to the example script that was just generated while downloading the model. Click Run. It works. The Pinocchio script is very powerful. If you can run something manually, you can write a Pinocchio script to automate it and publish the script so others can use as well. Let's try installing Stable Diffusion. We are going to install Automatic 1111, one of the most popular Stable Diffusion engines. Normally, you need to jump through all kinds of hoops, opening the terminal, cloning repositories, and installing dependencies. With Pinocchio, it's just one click. Go to the Discover page, find the Automatic 1111 script, click Download. Then click Install to open the install script and run it. Notice how you get a push notification every time a step has completed, so you are aware of where you are. All the usual commands you would have had to manually enter in a terminal have been packaged into the one-click script and are being run automatically in sequence. And voila, it's up and running. Let's test it out. You can even see the stable diffusion terminal log, but in the app, no need to ever open a terminal. Let's try one more time. It works. You can even write Pinocchio scripts for running stable diffusion programmatically. Let's try an example. This example script makes a text-to-image request to the automatic 1111 API and writes the result to a file. Let's click Run to try it out. OK, we got the notification saying that the image was generated and saved under the Images folder. Let's check it out. It works. So far, we've been using Pinocchio to automatically do things like running shell commands, making API requests, and accessing the file system. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The entire Pinocchio kernel API supports networking, file systems, memory management, data structure, shell execution, and task scheduling, such as looping and waiting. Not to mention that the API itself is extensible, so you can build custom API for anything you can imagine, such as AI engines. And the best part is, it's all just JSON. This means you can easily mix and match multiple scripts simply by combining JSON objects. For example, running a Llama script and feeding it into Stable Diffusion, and then publishing to Tumblr using a Tumblr script. Or running Llama to generate a sentence, feeding it to another Llama session, updating the memory, and looping forever, effectively creating an autonomous AI blogger. The JSON format also makes the scripts ultra-portable and shareable. Installing and running AI engines and sharing cool workflows is now as easy as downloading a JSON file, click Install, and run. Pinocchio works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, is 100% open source, and it's completely free. Try it out.